Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, which is very exciting. So I got them sent to me, and they came in this gorgeous little purse thing, which I'll obviously carry under my arm as I pop to the shop. So I've got the collection here of the lipsticks, and they are beautiful. They are reds and um, pinks, you know, like fuchsia, and of course this gorgeous coral color. So I'll give you my thoughts, and I'll do some swatches as well of the colors. Generally speaking though, they are beautiful and I expected no less. I think a lot of people think that the process of making a lipstick is a very easy thing. It is not. As somebody that has their own lipsticks and cosmetic range coming out, they're not easy. None of it is easy. It is a laborious, miserable process and to actually accomplish a finished product is a miracle. So she's done an amazing job here. So. What you can't see and you won't be able to see on this camera because of the lighting is that they actually have this velvet finish all the way around them. It is quite extraordinary the way that it looks. It looks like a piece of felt. It is quite incredible. It doesn't apply like that, don't worry, but that's how it looks. So this one is called Velvet Morning, ironically, and it is a true gorgeous red. Now these lipsticks offer high pigmentation levels, so you don't need a lot of swipes. Next up, we've got Love of My Life, which is a more muted, this is more of a muted sort of, it's more of the, on the nudie side of colors, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. And this has a slightly sheerer finish, which I personally think is great. I'm a really big fan of, I love seeing women just reapplying their lipsticks about their day-to-day -day life. I think it looks incredibly glamorous. Uh, Velvet Jazz is the next one. This is such a beautiful, deep, gorgeous shade. So it's gonna go right here. I mean, it's that vintage kind of, you know, gorgeousness, it's beautiful. Uh, next up, we've got Velvet Ribbon. And again, if you could see the velvet texture on the outside of that, it is incredible. Um, so that's going to go here. And this is actually, I think this is a really nice, that's a really nice red. As, as many of you know, red is not a color I particularly care for. I kind of think it looks really good when you're 20 to 30, and I think you shouldn't wear it again to your 65. <laughs> but that's just me. Skyscraper Rose is next. So, those of you wondering about longevity, uh, no lipstick unless it's a, you know, those awfully matte ones, you know, the, the liquid ones, they all need to be reapplied. So no panicking. Lipsticks need to be reapplied. It's gorgeous. That's a great color, isn't it? That's a great color. That's a bloody good color. Skyscraper Rose. So next we've got two of my favorites. So this is the Rainbow Spill color. I mean, look at that. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Let's pop that. I love a kind of really bright, sort of beautiful pink. And this is your Nana color. This is Go Lightly. And that is your Nana Coral, right? That's that kind of, you see a Nan have this coral shade of, but this is like an updated coral and it is beautiful. And that is the collection. They come housed in these gorgeous um, gold containers and they have magnets in that repel each other. So when I first put them all out in front of me, they all would not stay together. So actually holding them like this, they just want to move. So on my desk in front of me, when I put them down, you put them down in the center and it's like a Ouija board. They all just move away from each other. But it's, it's wonderful. The, also, the one thing is really nice is the logo on the top, which is the, the L, which you may not be able to see, and the lips, there it is. It's lovely, absolutely, absolutely lovely. I expected no less, obviously from Lisa Aldridge. Expected perfection, and that's what we got. We got perfection in lipstick format. I have no doubt that there's many, many other things to come. I do not know this as a fact. She's not mentioned it, so I'm just guessing that there are many more to come. And I have no doubt that they will all be absolute successes. So thank you for watching. See you all next time. And this was not a sponsored video. Bye-bye.